Hello everybody and welcome to my quarter final match in the Champions Cup season four. Um, as you can see my chaos against Demon Ted's Bretonians. Um, I eventually made my team, uh, can I pause it here with the stats on? Yeah, okay, can pause it here with the teams on. So I made my team 1640, his was 1630. So he had 120k in the bank, so I denied him the wizard. And I could have had less money in the bank, I could have had 10k more in the bank and still denied him the wizard. But I didn't want him to sack his block um, peasant to get two bribes. So that's why I got rid of all my treasury, um, bought a wizard. And he was left with the choice between sacking a peasant to get a wizard or just going with a bribe. And he went with a bribe. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. So let's have a look at the teams. I've got a claw palm warrior, guard warrior, block warrior. My, um, my, my fourth warrior is actually pretty good, but he got missed next game. Block tackle, mighty blow, pretty good. Wrestle tackle, um, frenzy, pretty good. Guarder there. Um, ball carrier. Sat on the bench for the first half. Only 12 players, obviously risky. 12 players against, you know, with armor eight against a bribe and a pom. Rackle, pom. Obviously, shit blocker being starting with wrestle means he can't exploit these guys as well. He had a couple of dirty players to go with bribe. A couple of guards, same as me. And his, his, all of his blitzes are pretty nice, actually. Leader, blodge. Um, movement eight, tackle, blodge. Strength four, blodge. And blodge step tackle, blodge step, just blodge step. So yeah, he's got a pretty nice team fighting. I really like the look of his team, and re and I knew this would be a really hard matchup. So um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, he won the toss and received, obviously. Um, because why wouldn't he? It'd be crazy, crazy not to receive. So yeah, it was tough, you know. He's got he's got a big bench, so it's hard to make attrition as much of a factor. So I was I was happy to get the wizard, spend all of my treasury to get the wizard, and deny him one potentially. Safe moves first, covering the ball a bit. Unbelievable, Jeff. There you go, gets a gets a KO without even mighty blow straight up. Pom hit. Luckily, luckily, didn't do anything with that, but of course he's going to get a big gang foul in, seeing as he's paid for his bribe. And in a way, it's safer than picking up the ball, isn't it, making the foul? Unlikely to cause a turnover, about 1 in 18 with a bribe. And he gets a second chaos already. With nine players, it's um, it's looking hard to get the turnover score here, isn't it? I mean, I guess I could just use the wizard to stop him scoring and try to win one nil. I didn't have to get the recovery from the wizard, but and obviously I beeline straight for the dirty player here, um, get very lucky, and cas him instantly. So. Really good. I mean, <laughs> the first move I do is just instantly blitz it. But you know, I've got to I've got to watch his dirty players and make sure that he can't foul my good players, isn't he? That's what I'm trying to think. Um. So yeah, just just playing it safe. You know, screen now. Only nine players on the pitch and one guy prone. Not good. And yeah, I dodged him out, so hoping that he would, you know, avoid a, avoid a gang foul. So nine versus ten is okay. I should, I could have, um, I could have maybe used my my wizard more aggressively here. I feel the need. The need. Oh, 
Oh, thank you for the follow, laser beam. So you got another armor break. Risky though, wasn't it? If he if he'd got the Kaz there, he's given up a claw palm hit on his on his wrestle palm. I didn't like that so much. Um, his move there. I, but then I guess he wanted to he wanted to rotate over here a bit. Yeah, I'm just I'm just content to hit people with claw palm. <laughs> I like I like that he took his dirty player way out here for no reason. Like obviously he didn't need to close off that corner of the cage at all. He just took his dirty player miles away. So I was free to pile on. I thought I get a I get a pile on here. Make it a 3D, just to get the guarantee a knockdown. <laughs> um, don't get a knockdown. Pretty great. But it wasn't. It wasn't just to get three dice. It was to protect him from the foul. Um, were he to pile on. And obviously another 3D. Actually, knock him over. I mean that's okay, isn't it? I've got all my guys there. He's got all his guys here. Sure, it leaves him open to switch down here, but I can respond. So I didn't. I thought that was okay. It's strange how he just offered him up to a claw palm hit. Maybe I should have just claw palmed him on the next turn. Uh, so I guess where where I misplayed here was I um I went for the hit on the dirty player. Whereas if I just swung right back around here, I guess I would have contained him pretty easily. But instead, I put a few guys up here to hit this dirty player, which wasn't great. Really bad in B movement th five there. If he'd six, he would have got in here with guard. Would have been pretty nice. Yeah, maybe I should have just blitzed him. But I got the knockdown, though, with him not having block. That's the thing, isn't it? It's 75. Big difference between the 75% knockdowns and the 55% knockdowns. And I guess I could have been more aggressive with these two. But because he had this guy back, I didn't want him to just randomly two dice, um, two dice my killer. So I really wanted to protect my killer. But maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have moved them over here, further over here. Because he didn't really get in his way at all. But I thought... And what I was thinking was, I was thinking turn four, I can put loads of pressure on, so he's got to score or get wizarded. That's what I was thinking. But he's, he's played fine to this point, hasn't he? The death. At the time, I was getting pretty salty right now, obviously, down three players. Um, although he's down one as well, so, you know, on aggregate, only down two. But still, eight players on defense, not easy. And two of the removals weren't with Mighty Blow or, or anything. No Mighty Blow or Dirty Player on two of the removals. He makes a cheeky stun there. Cheeky dodge. But obviously guard locks him out of blitzing with him. So yeah, so I thought at this point, I can't blitz I can't wizard here, but I thought if I if I ma mash some guys in, not that I've got many with a stun and the and the two removed, two down, but Cool. 
claw palm onto his onto his blitzer. Was it? Oh no, it was just a wrestler, wasn't it? A blocker. No, it was a blitzer. He yappled it. Yeah, he yappled that one. He yappled that one. But you know, he was he was having to expose his blitzers to claw palm hits, wasn't he, to do this? I didn't like the the guy that he ran down there, but. Yeah, so I thought I'd put a fair amount of pressure on there. Three players tagging him. Obviously, it sucks having to block over here and just take it. I could have re-rolled that, I guess, actually, with four re-rolls. Because getting him wrestled was pretty shit. Yeah, so I had to commit two guys because of the guard. And just wrestles him. So, I mean, now how does he protect here? I should have probably wizarded this turn. He obviously gets the guard in for the hit on him. Hits the killer. Gets a KO. I mean, I'm being pretty lucky here, having a pretty unlucky here to be down four players on defense. Like just randomly knocking them out as well. Not, not with Mighty Blow or Dirty Player. Three of them were without Mighty Blow or Dirty Player. So that, that KO is pretty huge. If he wasn't KO'd, if that wasn't a knockdown, or if he wasn't KO'd, I, well, not stunned. If he, if he was just prone, Fireball here looks pretty pretty good then, but he made this dodge as well, which closed it off a lot. I thought about briefly about the Bolt or the Fireball. Maybe the, maybe the bolt could have been okay there. Blitz him with tackle and then go for a, some kind of recovery. But I just didn't have the players at this point to um, to do it, I don't think. Here, if this one dice, uh, the one dice followed being a power, I could have dodged for a 2D on the ball. But I wasn't about to dodge for a 1D on the ball, even with tackle. It's not my style. Because I figure it's still kind of not easy for him to stall 100% safely. I guess I shouldn't have moved over there. It didn't really do a whole lot. I should have, um, I should have tried to keep him boxing in this corner. So I guess I should have gone up here or here. Nice couple of GFIs there, wasn't it? To get the guard in the mix. Get knocked down instantly. But still, he still does a good job to stall here, doesn't he? Like, already, he's, um... It's not looking great. Dauntless. Relying on his Dauntless to make it a 2D. Pretty huge. But yeah, if I'd, if I'd just stayed here... But he's strength 4. It's still blitz. But yeah, if, I guess I should have stayed about around about here. Would have been better. But then he could just blitz me and go into the corner further. But strength 4 just means I can't blitz him, doesn't it? That's the problem. I'm gonna still maybe bolted him here and then just gone for the pickup with his warrior, just dodge out. I thought about it. I actually thought about going for the bolt and then like um, and then you know, like making a pass play. But instead, I just thought, fuck it. I'll just go. <laughs> just blitzes, <laughs> blitzes dirty player with uh, claw palm. And pile on too. Because I, I, at this point I basically gave up. I thought... I, at this point I gave up and thought I'll take it over time. Which maybe I shouldn't have. I, I've, I've been burned before by relying on overtime. Maybe I should have gone for the bolt and then... Bolt and punt. Would have been a pretty decent play because he, he... You know, this guy was tagged. But, you know, I've been burned before by doing that kind of play. And someone just dodges, picks it up, passes it, scores. So, hard to say, isn't it? Could have made a GFI with him, done a 4 plus dodge to 2D him without tackle. Obviously, he's going to greed it now. Bit risky, but. That was, that was really risky. He'd have been in trouble if he'd, um, if he, if he'd both, if he double skulled that. On the reroll, he'd be in a bit of trouble, wouldn't he? And yeah, 
he had, he had to use everyone to protect the ball rather than making a foul on the dirty play, uh, the piling on guy. So I, th I think he's played pretty, 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 pretty much perfectly on offense, I guess. And I played pretty shit by not even trying to stop the score then. Yeah, the thing is, the reason that I didn't qualify for the World Cup, funnily enough, was because I relied on overtime. Because I thought, I was, I was up against an agility 5 war dancer, and I thought, if I play for overtime, I've got, you know, two hearts to get rid of him, and then, obviously, what happened, what happened was, um, he won the toss and scored his agility 5 war dancer. <laughs> and so I probably should have tried harder to defend harder in, in that game, and I probably should have tried to defend harder in this game as well. With a wizard, I probably should have denied the score at least. But yeah, it is hard down down three men, you know. It, it was really hard. Yeah, and it is. I was under. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Pretty bad losing those players. I, I thought. I thought that was. I was a tad too much to lose, considering he wasn't getting the mighty blow fouls. Like, sorry, the dirty player fouls. He wasn't. I mean, I, I got lucky to deny the dirty player, obviously. But still, he wasn't making dirty player fouls. He was blitzing with, you know, blitzers rather than his. Tackle Pom. Um, and he did make a lot of removals on his drive. Which ma did make it easy for him, but he didn't make any mistakes, did he? That was the important thing. He didn't make any mistakes on his drive. Um, <laughs> you'll see me make some, some grade A mistakes in the second half. Alright. So, and at this point, because I had so many KOs, that was another thing. I kind of didn't want him to, I kind of didn't mind letting him score. This was another, this was another thing I was thinking. Um, I was thinking, I want two shots at the KOs, you know, with having three KOs, including my killer. I really did want the two shots at them. Um, so, in that respect, I didn't mind him scoring. Obviously, I wasn't going to try a one-turner here. I did set. I was. I started setting up for if a right would be okay. Then I remember the security gate that I had to stop myself getting fucked by stupid shit. So I just thought, right, set up three dice blocks and try to hurt people is going to be better than trying for a fucking movement six one turner. I don't even know how to do a movement six one turner. So, and didn't have eleven players, so probably couldn't have done it anyway. Though he did set up. Um, he did set up to allow a one turner with having them three, three tight like that. The one turner would have been possible had I known how to do it. Well, maybe. I would need a touch back though with only 10 players. <laughs> Three dice, get a push. Maybe you should have re rolled that because he had mighty blow. You could call that a misplay, I guess. <laughs> the reason that I re-rolled that, it looked stupid. But the reason that I re-rolled that was to get a both down. Um, so that I could pile on him. And that was why I re-rolled that pile there. Obviously, for the the silly the silly completion there, had to try. I should have counted how many men run off the pitch because there is a little bit of a bug in that when people run off, you know if they've recovered from chaos. The people who've the teams that run off at half time are the, include the ones that have recovered from chaos. Um, so had I been counting and paying attention, I would have known he'd recovered. But that was huge. That was a huge recovery. If I don't have that tackle pommer on offense, it's really bad, isn't it? Because it's a lot easy, a lot harder to get rid of his blitzers. But he's still got all four blitzers, thanks to his apple. And still got his bribe. Three re-rolls apiece. So, you know, just got to not get, not play stupid. That's all I've got to do is not make horrific mistakes. Um, And I should be able to make it 1-1 and go to overtime. And obviously try to keep my wizard 
so that I've got that to turn him over with if he wins the coin toss. So I was still kind of pretty confident at this point. Well, obviously the, the death was annoying. Pitch Invasion may have saved me from just losing this match right now, The you know, the security gate. If I'd, if I'd got hammered on Pitch Invasion there, I could have just lost. So I was pretty happy to have it there. There you go, four, six dice, no knockdowns on the LOS. Pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> and the reason I blocked with him was so that the, as it happened, I thought, I thought, hello, I can maybe he's get, a, maybe he's get a mighty blow hit on this guy. Because obviously he's got fend. And amazingly, another injury. So I'd make two mighty blow blocks because obviously I couldn't pile them on because of the fend. Claw was irrelevant because they were all on my seven anyway. So I made two mighty blows on both of his dirty players and cast them both. So I was really lucky with that. Re incredibly lucky with, with those two, to be honest. So yeah, obviously just screening off all my good players. Hopefully, don't want to nine the pickup. No, oh, you go. So now that lets him blitz here and get get side steppers, lodge steppers around, doesn't it? Pretty, I was pretty sad to fail that pickup. Maybe I didn't need to have this guy where he was. Maybe he could have been here. <laughs> Another armor break. <laughs> and then he makes his first block and it's an armor break against armor nine. I'm like, give over man. You know, he's not he's not blitzing with his he's not relying on Dauntless to get two dice, not hitting with his Pommer and gets another armor break. I'm like, come on man, he's armor nine. I was a little bit sad about that. That was a nice little screen there, wasn't it, to stop these guys, but of course it doesn't affect the uh, claw pom guy with tackle. And he made the GFI there to like tag the ball. Which I didn't like his defensive play as much as his well obviously offense he was up loads of men. But defensively, you know, he's just giving up a he's giving up his one of his best players to get hit by claw pom, isn't it? Like sure it might work, but more often than not he would have just been cast. Though of course because he won the coin toss and got to receive in the first half, the pressure is on me now because I can't I can't, that was his reroll, the only reroll he used there. Um, I think that was the only reroll he used in the whole half, was making that GFI. But that's the thing, on offense, you've got to reroll things sometimes, don't you? Whereas on defense, you don't have to. I didn't use any rerolls on defense um, that I had to reroll. So, that was pretty huge with the with the overtime looming. I went for, he went for there. Uh, it was the tag with the first GFI, the second one he could have gone for the pickup, couldn't he? Thank for, failed the third pickup there, but made the fourth one. Thank God. And the ball's a, it's a bit loose, isn't it, this fucking cage here. I wasn't happy with this. He could have come round. But um, this guy had tackle. So his way around the back wasn't so easy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI and stuff. So he would have had to have made some dodges through... I like I like that I had my tackler there, even though it's kind of easy for him to go through that way. Obviously, just a he couldn't one D him because the guard there, but he could have minus two D him and then gone through. Might have been a good play, but he played it safe. Obviously, I got. A Lucky, lucky armor break there with nothing. Mighty blow ones, fair enough though, isn't it? Fail dodge into stun is nice, isn't it? And that lets me, like he's got nobody, he's got what, one guy based? 
everyone else is free to move up. Probably move over here. That's where I. That's where I'd like to move. Looking at it again, from fresh eyes. No, I can't go that far, can I? So, here then, something I don't know. Let's find out. Making it a 3D. Ah, uh, that, that makes sense. That's a good play. Well done, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah, go for a 3D on his, on one of his best players. Three dice with might with um, panning on mighty blow claw. Pretty good tackle. Have to accept the push. <laughs> But a bit of a dodgy position for the ball, I, don't, I think I would have been better served just going here and not bothering with the hits looking back. But this stun and this guy base means that there's not that much... Like, what was he doing with these two guys, you know? I, I don't know, I, I don't like his play defensively, to be honest. Huge three plus because I think already with two rerolls left, he was committed to not rerolling anything, wasn't he? Really, pretty much. Foul, absolutely fine there with his bribe, wasn't it? Surprised he hadn't made more fouls to him, but I guess it's hard. Isn't it? Dodge. Fails. Yep, so he's got two guys there, which is pretty good for my wrestle to mark them. I guess that's what I should have done. Oh, no, I didn't. I blitzed with a wrestle. That was a bit crazy. Oh, was I trying to surf him? I could have surfed him. That's what it was. Pushed him there, pushed him there, pushed him to there. And this guy runs around and I can surf him. So I could have surfed that guy there. That's, that's why I did that play, to maybe surf him. But maybe I should have just pommed this guy and then got forward. That would have probably been better, wouldn't it? That would have probably been better, especially with it being turn 12. Probably should have blocked him, pommed him, and just the wrestle the guy could have based those two. But still, at halfway on turn, turn 12 is okay, isn't it? Now, amazingly, he doesn't roll knockdowns for a change, which is fun. <laughs> Millions of pushes. Crazy. Crazy turn of pushes there. Felt amazing, man. But yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I misplayed there just to try to get a fancy surf. It would have been a really cool surf, to be fair, but probably is a bit. Probably is one of those times where you get the tunnel vision and do do a dumb. He does get the he does get the gang foul in though, plus three foul. No removal though, unbelievably. So still like eleven versus ten on this drive. And now, and he just hasn't, he's given me what I could have made last turn. Getting to move forward with everybody. Really good. I mean, that was really bad turn of his, I think. I mean, obviously, he rolled a lot of pushes, but still, he committed to making those blocks, didn't he? Um, obviously, just keeping, keep protecting the tackle pommer now for overtime. Hitting his, hit, hitting his pommer. But of course, not allowed to reroll it because got to keep my got to keep my rerolls for overtime and potentially the penalty kicks. And the reason I kept 
this beast man here was so that he would have to use his guard to get a block there and stuff. Um, I thought that was okay keeping him there. I would have liked to have moved him around, but I thought I wanted to make him harder to knock these guys down because they were in the way of getting to these five. Base the ball again. His his number one strat is to just base the ball at every opportunity. Which um again I'm not really a fan of. Not 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 when there's not when there's a tackle palmer waiting to kill your best player for the sake of doing it, you know. To me that's not really great blood ball. So I didn't I didn't like his strategy, although it paid off for him. Obviously my first action is smash that guy to pieces with oh no, just just push him. Shit. Unfortunately with the push it made things pretty tricky. Went back of the ball. And at this point I'm guilty of um at this point I'm guilty of like uh not really Paying attention to the turn, the turn counter. At this point, I'm just like I'm just thinking. You know, I'm just playing blood ball. I've got plenty of time to score. Not really realizing it's turn 14 at this point in time. So, yeah, I'm just trying to keep the ball safe, which obviously worked out. I kept the ball pretty safe. So I was happy to keep the ball safe, but I did, I did lose track of the turns at this point in time. There you go, finally evens up the numbers, 10 versus 10, faces the ball. And does a 1D against the claw palm there. Madness. Mad. Greedy as all hell, one dicer there. And well, it's not mad, is it? I mean, it, if it had worked, it really paid off. And now, here we get to the crunch, right? This is my biggest misplay. At this turn, I don't realise it's turn 15. Right? This is, the, this is the key thing. So, looking back, right? If I know it's turn 15 on this turn, obviously my claw palm blitzes his his guy doesn't pile on so blitz him push him to here one two three four five six something like this this guy goes one two three four five six this guy goes one two three four five six and the ball goes one two three four five something like this right so i can i can get the ball pretty safe in a cage um he could just dodge out to complete or something he could dodge out he could GFI, but I could have made a cage here, a pretty decent cage here. Probably is a GFI from the Beastman, so a player here, player here, player here, ball here. That's what I would have done, by choice. But, what, what I did, <laughs> what I did was, I thought it was turn 14. So this horrific turn is what happened instead. I thought about just blocking with him and then and then going for the surf and then I just realized that I just couldn't so I went for the surf here now obviously going for the surf gives me three chances to one in nine and I've got to reroll any of them and I could have taken the pow there but instead I went for the extra one and it was just horrible it was just really horrible but it's because I didn't think it was turn 15 if I'd known it was turn 15 I just wouldn't have done any of this so that was horrible I used a reroll 
which could have been crucial later on. Which, if I'd blitzed with a claw palm, I'd have only needed one one chance to r roll a one in nine. Even the first one in nine, I couldn't take because there was no way to keep the ball safe because I was committed. So, and I couldn't have obviously taken the ball down if I'd blitzed this way, but I totally, and I still had the chance to if I'd realised. I still had the chance after all that to make a to make a cage over here, but I just didn't realise which turn it was. I really just did not realise which turn. So that was horrible, horrible play by me. No, no doubt about it. Hideous, hideous play. So. He obviously he's not going to re-roll this. So then, <laughs> now it's turn 16. Now for the second, this what this misplay is even worse. What happens here is, obviously all I have to do is stand this guy up, block here for a push, push is all I need, blitz here, and I don't even need a push there, this because a one in nine is fine, both down's fine, and then go through and score. But, I think to myself, for some reason, that obviously takes two blocks, right? To not to not double skull. That you, to do this, you've got to not double skull from two blocks. And for some reason, I think to my and also if this is a both down, if the first blocks are both down, then it makes hitting him harder. So I, I think to myself, <laughs> for some reason, I think the ball carrier is eight squares away due to me not realising which turn it was. So I've got a GFI, so I can't move laterally at all. But for some reason, I think I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and score without having to dodge. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't have to dodge. So I thought, all I've got to do is two dice this guy and get a push and that and just score. So for some reason, I push him to here instead of here. It's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. But that that was that was why I, I made the push to that square instead of that square. So that was just hideous. It was just hideous. I don't know why. Obviously, I should have pushed to there, but for some reason, I thought if he was there, see, if he was there, I'd have, I would have had to dodge, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I thought I'll push him to there and I'll blitz with a chaos warrior, and then I can just score diagonally. And then I realised that it wouldn't be a dodge. So then that's why I didn't blitz with a chaos warrior at this point because I thought there's no way I'm going to dodge. So I just stand up the warrior. And then um, do a kind of crazy pl block, thinking I could come around the back here might be a good idea. I mean, I'm really struggling for for ideas, so I'm just making a relevant block there. And then eventually settle upon this crazy plan of double GFIing to hit this guy. Uh, sorry, one GFI to hit this guy. Um, which luckily enough gets the POW, which was needed. And then get the pile on as well, obviously turn 16, why not? To get a cast. So my misplay, my horrific misplay, was completely rewarded in fine, in fine blood ball style. And then got the push that I needed on that guy in the end. So I was down to the two the two GFIs to score. Thank you for the follow. Um and yeah, unbelievably made the two GFIs. But that was a horrible, horrible push. If I just made the push, like if I'd stuck to the original plan that I had, which was obviously make two blocks to score. But it was just, you know, I couldn't see the full pitch as well, and I had 15 seconds. And for some reason, I just thought I just thought it was on the diagonal score, and obviously it wasn't. And and to be fair, if the diagonal play was on, then my push wasn't in the right direction. But it was the <laughs> it was not on at all, and it was it was pretty dumb. It was a pretty dumb, um, pretty dumb push, horrible mistake. So you know. I can't be very proud of that score at all. Really, really try to blow it. And then obviously one more turn before overtime. But yeah, that was, I nearly blew the match there on that. Trying to be clever. Yeah, I should have been punished for that. Absolutely should have been punished. But instead got rewarded by casting his, by casting his pommer. Um, yeah, I needed a power. I didn't need a cars. I just needed a power. But it was it was horrible. It was really horrible. Really horrible going going for that. But yeah, I think probably because of the turn before, probably 
you know, didn't put me in a good good mood. So I've got the chance to have 10, 10 or 11 for overtime. He had three reserves, so he's got 11 for overtime. And we, ah, then we've got brilliant coaching. I thought the leader bug had affected him and he'd gone up. I didn't realise I'd gone up as well. So we both had three re-rolls for overtime. That was pretty good, wasn't it? and obviously he gets to make a... Now, I'm not sure I like the gang foul here because obviously if he gets caught... Ah, but he had the he still had the bribe, so yeah. But I don't know, I would, I would have kept my bribe for the for overtime if I was him. If he gets caught and he has to use his bribe, it's pretty crap, isn't it? But he gets the KO. And now I make, a, now I make my third misplay of the match by appoing it because I'm thinking, of course, that, um, that Blood Bowl 2 is following the real rules of Blood Bowl in that you get one... one one um, chance to recover the KOs before overtime. And I thought, I want 11 players for overtime. And um, I obviously want my block guarder. So I used my Apple there to, to keep him on. And this guy failed his KO roll. So, you know, um, I thought I was right. And then I remembered, of course, that Cyanide slash um, Blood Bowl 2 is, is bugged or not right or whatever and you get an extra chance at the KO recoveries so as it happens I get that guy back so yeah as it happened I shouldn't have appoed that because he was 75% to come back I was thinking I had two players that were both 55% was, they were both 50% to come back so there's a really good chance of me not getting either of them back for overtime but obviously had I realised they were both 75% to come back I probably wouldn't have appoed it but even then it's unfair to say it was a misplay because it did guarantee me getting him back and almost certainly putting me at 11 players for overtime instead of 10. Safe moves first here, covering the ball. Obviously, sweltering heat doesn't have an effect, thank God. Kaz. So, actually up men for the first time in the match. Um, pretty unbelievably. Obviously, I had to reroll that double score. I thought, I thought I had to, because I just didn't, didn't have a lot here, did I? Probably should have at this point. I probably should have moved this guard over here to make sure I had more, because I didn't have the reroll at this point. But instead, what I did was I went for the three dice block to make that more likely. Whereas probably I should have moved that guard over here to reinforce this. He's, he'd already shown his desire to base the ball at every opportunity. Um. So that's the fourth dice against this guy. 75% knockdowns failed again. Another another chance. So actually, no, this, this, this peasant has survived eight dice this turn and is left standing. I could have left him in contact, but I just thought, you know, I don't wanna, I don't want my armor nine guys to get knocked down. And here I make a misplay of running forwards after picking up when I should have run backwards because, you know, he's he's shown he's shown his desire to base the ball at all costs. Makes a dodge. Gets the 2 DB in. Gets a KO. Obviously wished... Now I'd... Now I'd wished... Now I'd wished I'd saved my Apo. And he bases the ball. With blood step. And... Because I moved that guy to get the 3 dicer as well... I've let him base both my... Both my tacklers. So... That that three dice really cost me the in overtime making that three D. This guy could have been over there, and I could have just gone back. So I, I really misplayed the first turn of overtime pretty hard. I think it's fair to say. I think it's fair to say I really misplayed. Um, turn one of overtime. So I just instantly use the bolt here because you know I don't want to take risks trying to knock over a blood stepper without tackle. <laughs> it seems pretty dumb. Just knock some people. I could have moved this first, but I didn't know exactly where I wanted to be. 
at this point in time. Once I get the knockdown there, then obviously I know where the ball's going, so I can move him. Up players again, 9 versus 10 now, I think. Yep. And I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty certain that I misplayed a game here. Um, blitz there, and I moved him here, but I think I should just moved him here. Because this let him base here, and I would have to blitz with him. Whereas if he was here, it, there was no way he could have based. When well, he could have based over there, I guess. And I would have had to blitz him. But with his blood stepper being this side, the blood step is the riskier guard, isn't it? So I guess I misplayed by not moving him to there. That would have been better. So obviously I just had to give up this 2D because I thought I'd rather his strength 4 was occupied for the turn. He makes the KO, so it's 9 versus 9. <laughs> Pretty scary 9 versus 9 as a bash team, isn't it? Against like, he's got the kind of advantage if you like with equal numbers because he's got the um the kind of dodgy team hasn't he the fast dodgy team sure his his um peasants are crap but he's only got two of them on pitch yeah so he just goes he goes not even full ham that's the thing he doesn't base with everybody he keeps this guy back which leaves which leaves me a few players to free to get this to free up this side stepper here And uh, do you know what? I think I misplayed again here. I think that guy should have come in there and then blitz from the bottom so that I could have followed because leaving this guy here was really bad. This was such a horrible place for him to be. And then I, I was just in a, in a pickle now because I didn't I couldn't make any dodges. So I've just got to I've just got to make a hard fucking cage here. You know, with this this is just horrible. So as you can see here, there's just multiple things you can do on his next turn. You know, you can you um, can he can move this guy in here, and then you can blitz him to push him there for a one D, or you could put him in there, one dice him, push him. So, in fact, two dice. He can move him here, him round here, and he can two dice him to there to blitz him with him. Um, but. Having my guy here was pretty decent, actually, wasn't it? He was actually doing something. He was occupying the Wrestle Guard. I shouldn't have activated him. And instead, I panicked because of this push thing being on. And I thought, I'll try and make it harder. Make it a one dice. But that was just dumb because a one dice was still, a, was still like a three plus, wasn't it? it was st I was still giving up a three plus to let him two dice to the ball. So that was just fucking terrible play, to be honest. So I misplayed every turn here in overtime, I have. And he gets his push, and now because I've left this gaping hole in front, he gets to tag these guys easily. I mean, he could have still pretty done it pretty easily. He could have still just blocked that guy down and moved that movement eight in, but he gets 2D on the ball. I'm surprised he turned him that way. I would have chained him forward this way, so then he could have pushed him back into where his players were. Um, then obviously he makes another KO, so I'm actually down players now, eight versus nine in overtime. Down players against Bretonians. <laughs> Only got three warriors on the pitch. Um, yeah, I was pretty much panicking at this point, obviously. Making cheeky one dices. But still, even now, he's got two players away from the ball. I've got everyone here. I can just knock down all of his players with tackle, mighty blow, piling on, claw. I just get to slaughter his team now, right? So, I'm still confident at this point. You know what I mean? Like, basing basing this Chaos team is a bit suicidal, isn't it? So he gets a KO, gets a stun. Only a push there, but I get to knock him down with this block here. Um, got to use my Blitz because this is a Strength 4 guy. Obviously follow up to pile on if I have to. Don't even need to pile on, Kazim. So that was pretty good. I think what I should have done was is 
should have done. Oh no, I went here to make a cage. So at this point, I'm thinking, pick up the ball, go here, then he can block there, and then he goes here, and now I've got a full cage. So yeah, pick up, go to here. That's why he went away from the ball. So like, was that bad? Maybe it's obviously he's got he's got his players on this side, and I've got my players on this side, which is a bit, bit dangerous. Obviously, one in nine the pickup, absolutely, absolutely standard failure there. Could have made maybe he's made the blocks first, but I had to have the reroll for the pickup, didn't I? And then failed it. So that that was absolutely horrific. Um, but just dice, you know, I couldn't I couldn't really do anything about that, could I? That was just unlucky. Very unlucky as it happened because the ball would have been in a cage had I made the pickup. He makes a one dicer, finally uses a reroll. He could have gone for some kind of scatter play or something here, couldn't he? But I think this was kind of alright, I guess. Bases the ball again. One dice punished. Can't argue with that. Time for a <laughs> time for another misplay with Jimmy. Okay, so now I'm thinking this is really easy, right? I can run away with the ball. This is why I put him this side because I'm thinking the ball's going to be up and away here. So I make this block here. Absolutely horrible play, right? Push him. Should have followed. Hundred percent. Hundred percent should have followed here. That was. Horrific not following. And now I've blocked my way to blitz this guy, right? If I follow, I'm cancelling the assist. And I get to blitz this guy to get him off the the tackle zone, off the ball for a 3-plus pickup. I mean, that was just such an, a monumental fail. But I'm thinking, I want to keep a tackle zone on the ball, right? That's why that's why I didn't follow, because I wanted to keep the tackles on the ball. But it was terrible. I should have followed up there 100%. 110% I should have followed there. Which now means... I'm thinking I'll use my, um, you know, use my claw piling on to hit his blodger. And then, but then because I didn't get the push, I just needed a push to make this a two dice, right? Didn't get the push, but it's my last reroll, so I can't use it. So now I have to one dice this guy, get the both down. Obviously, I know he's not going to wrestle, but what else could I have done? I just blocked off myself. Maybe I could have moved this guy around and 2D'd him first. Um, maybe I should have just gone for the 4 plus pickup. But it was just horrible. But even then, you know, if I'm if I roll a three plus, I'll get to pick up the ball and I'm away anyway, so No well, it wasn't a rage one day. I mean his rage one day, yeah, his rage one day was terrible. But this was just um this was just hideous. I should have followed up there. And if I followed up there, then the blitz comes in from this guy on him, gets the gets the ball down, he would have wrestled. And then I get to pick up the ball and run away anyway. So that, it was just horrible. I guess I would have failed the failed the pickup probably, but still. And now I'm in a, now I'm in the absolute danger zone at this point, right? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. So do have the player advantage, but still seven versus eight is um, marginal, isn't it? And all of his players are on the same side of the pitch. And all my his all of his players on the left side, all my players on the right play side. It was just horrible, absolutely horrible. So he blitzes him, clears the tackle zone that I misplayed leaving there, and then he makes the four plus pickup, and he dodges out, and he's away. And I'm like shit. <laughs> I've just, well, I haven't, I hadn't just lost. I wish I'd kept the wizard, though, obviously, at that point. But I've still got this guy to um, come round in 2D. Yeah. It's had to make my canoring threat. I had to have a, I had to have an optimistic scoring threat. Because, obviously, at this point, he's got two rerolls, I've got one. I've got to use a reroll on the GFI or the two dice on the ball. So, like, I'm already, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for the penalty kicks at this point, but... Knowing that I had to re-roll that. And now here, obviously the sensible thing would be to not pile on, right? But I figure that I've got to pile on because I've got to stun him. I just have to stun him. Because if I don't stun him, he just blitzes me and picks up the ball and runs off. 
So, pile on. <laughs> oh dear. Fail the pile on. And then make a one dice pile. I mean, it was just horrible. Just absolute desperation. I did only need the push, though, to make this a two dice. Um, double score. Obviously, had to reroll because if I fail, I just lose the game. He just picks up the ball and scores. And then try to get him in for the pickup. And I would have gone for the pass as well had I done it. But, um, failed the GFI. That was horrible. Lucky bounce. Incredibly lucky bounce. Because if it had gone there or there, I'd, you know, I've just lost, haven't I? So incredibly lucky bounce there. And yeah, he's content just to tag the, just to tag the ball here, which I didn't like. But obviously, out of rerolls. I mean, I had some bad dice in, in all the time, you know, no doubt about it. Two double skulls are rolled, um, and obviously he doesn't hesitate. He doesn't even think about using the reroll there because he knows it's going to penalty kicks probably. Um, but still, this is a incredibly easy for me to get the ball out here. Um, you know, two dice block here on a pal. Get the tackle on his um, guy. So, yeah. Get the tackler in. Unbelievably get the pal. And the Kaz. <laughs> If there was a if there was a fourth half, I'd be doing feeling pretty good about my chances. And then failed to pick up again, of course. I mean, what a difference that would have been! One, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been probably just a GFI to hand off the next turn or something. Had I picked that up. But at this point, the numbers have equalised, haven't they? Well, not equalised. Um, have become. You know, and here I had, I had uh, what I did here was I just went straight for the pass. What I could have done was this guy could have cancelled his assist, he could have blocked him, and if I'd got the pow, he could have run around and oh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, he could have run around, blitzed him, then then he could have blocked him, ah, but it would have been without dodge. So then he could have blocked the beast. So the, I could have, okay, so blah, 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 try, try to do this in English. Let's try to do this in English. I could have moved here to cancel the assist. He could have blocked him and made a pow. He could have blitzed this guy. He could have blocked this guy. And then potentially I could have freed up this beast man. So I could have handed off the beast man. Then the beast man could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, short pass. That would have been better, probably. But instead, I just went for the three plus pickup, five plus pass. And um, failed the five plus pass just in the nick of time if that had all happened one turn before I'd have had another chance wouldn't I but um, it was horrible so there you go so the matches will be decided by penalties and um, so he rolls a d6 and adds two and I roll a d6 and add nothing which is um, which is obviously really really unlikely to win um, somebody said there was about a one in six chance of me to win. Um, yeah, it was pretty obviously. It's pretty unlikely if someone's rolling the dice with plus two. You know, if they roll a one, you still you still only win half the time, don't you? Which is crazy. So yeah, unfortunately, you've got to sit through the animations. And yeah, the. And the funny thing is, the scores on the penalty kicks aren't even... Yeah, so the, the, the team reroll comes up first and second. I didn't see it on the first. Um, I didn't see the first kick. I, I saw I saw the reroll on the second kick. So I thought, oh, wow, that means that um, he's rolled a one. But I really didn't know. <laughs> nice pen. <laughs> So yeah, so he used his two rerolls first, so the lowest he could possibly roll was a three, wasn't it?
Yeah, so I was I was one in six to win the penalties, the penalty shootout. And yeah, here you are, I just got to sit through these four four, pretty exciting. Now that I've rolled a five, I'm thinking I've got to have a chance here. He's hooked it. Unbelievable. One on penalties. The crowd goes wild. But, um, and yeah, and then the dice log shows that I rolled a six and he rolled a three. So I won six five on the, um, in total. And yet won the penalty show of five four. So I don't really don't understand what goes on there. Um, he gave away 81 blocks with even with overtime is a lot, isn't it? Um, but he got 59, which is a lot. So, you know, I'm, I don't know. I think I did make a lot of misplays in overtime. Um, but you know, the pressure was getting to me and, and like the pressure of streaming, it was getting to me and, as well and stuff. So, um, I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to stream the semi-final, um, or indeed any of my playoff games next season, but I'll definitely do these, these, um, these replay things. Um, so yeah, the team's looking okay. It's seventeen forty. I got max dice rolls for winnings, so hopefully um, get through the next match, and then might be able to buy a wizard in the final if I get the final. But next match, it's going to look like it looking like it's going to be against Inarion, so that's going to be very very tough. And um, yeah, we'll see anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.